so Scout needs an upgrade. Um, she's still in the same tank, which I believe is a 12 by 12 by 12 square. Um, she's still going to be living in that for a while as she's not growing too much. And she's still like in that compact space. But I did want to upgrade it to a more bioactive feature um, as I wasn't really enjoying what was going on. And so in this video, I am going, going over my process of how I did it. And it's very similar to a lot of other people's. So what I did was um, use spray foam as the majority of the background. I scraped it out and then layered on moss and things as you'll see through the video. But the materials that you guys will need is one, spray foam. Um, so you can get the super cheap kind. It's about $3, but you can also get colored kind. Um, I recommend doing the black just because then... You don't have that weird side panel as you'll see online of like having to cover the outside glass. And then I used moss as just sheet moss from Home Depot. I think it was like maybe $4 for a big, relatively big bag of it. Um, I'll just put the screen on here of the materials. And then I also used silicone to attach the moss and everything to the spray foam. And then as a substrate, I used LECA, which is just a pebble size. It's typically used for planting um, for hydroponic systems, but you can typically find it. I just found it at my local Ace Hardware, and then I also had a lot on hand as I have lots of plants that I use it for. And then I used um, the weed rug. I think they put it down for when they do lawns and things so weeds don't grow through it. I used that, and then I just had a mixture of cocoa husk, sphagnum moss, and um, non-fertilizer dirt as my base and then for the plants that i've added i've added skin dapsis um exotica and i also did a miniature money tree but the plants are kind of free range on what you guys want to do um but yeah let's get into the video and then you can see i'll talk a little bit but most of it will just be you looking at me doing the work Okay, starting out is I'm just emptying out the previous arrangement. So this is the typical foam board backing that comes with the exoterra enclosures. And then I also, what made me want to do this build is Scout has killed almost every plant that I've put into a tank either by just trying to hang on it and it not being hard enough to stand up or just death as it's not getting enough light because it's covered by all four other sticks that are in there. But here she is. She's looking beautifully dark today, and I was loving that. But that's definitely one of my favorite parts about Lychee's is the changing of colors. Like, sometimes I'll go and look in her tank, and she's bright blue. And I'm like, oh, yes, this is amazing. But, yeah, the whole process, I'm cleaning it out. You see all these dead leaves. There's that weird foam board that comes in the back. Um, but pretty easy stuff. I make sure to clean this glass pretty well, as the foam does need to adhere to something. Um, this probably took 20 minutes to do. I just sped it up and deleted half of it because who wants to sit and watch that? Here I am thinking it was a brilliant idea to start arranging it inside and figure out how I, I want to do it. The gap in cracks is the $388 one. Cheapest one you can get. Um, but then I'm like, oh, I would like to be healthy and breathe. So I bring all of this outside just so the ventilation is better as I would like to... Be able to properly breathe um so i'm just taking it all out and then this is probably the funnest part is just spraying this on here um it kind of creates crazy just little like splotches and stuff you definitely don't have to be precise in any way as you can scrape all of this off um if it ends up being too much or too little um you can always add more it does I would say if you could have it at room temperature, that works best as it is probably 10 degrees outside right now while I'm doing this in the garage. Um, so it de definitely took way long to dry than I think it should have because um, I have done spray foam before and it dries probably within like 10 minutes pretty well at least and then you leave it overnight. Um, but yeah, I did. I feel like there's a couple of different options of just spraying the foam and then you can glue the sticks in. I decided to just kind of use the foam as glue itself. And so far, it's worked out pretty well. And then I also kind of wanted to just add the moss in now, as I have seen a couple people do it this way. I do end up ripping all this moss out and starting over, as I would like to have cut the foam down to be a, a um, le more level of a background. But yes. And then here's when I tried to 
whip it up and it was not dry yet because it's super gooey on the inside. And then parts that I haven't filmed, um, I did add more wood in there and then more little areas. So I did add like a little cup um, holder as you can see here. It is a lot more. And as I did that, I just kind of taped everything up so it stayed. And then this long growing process of cutting thing, everything away. This probably took about 30 minutes to do. Um, you can easily do it with an exacto knife, which is what I used. Um, but yeah, it's not too difficult, it's just time consuming. Okay, and then here's the silicone I used and make sure since it is going into an animal's tank to use 100% silicone. I'm not too sure of the reasons why, I'm assuming it's just because the chemicals in there. Um, but yeah, I made sure it's this one. You can just typically know the brand that's tan and blue is the one that's 100% silicone, but it should have it written right on there. Um, I got the brown silicone just then I didn't have any of the white sticking through. Um, and yeah pretty easy stuff. I spread it out and then I just started adhering the moss to it. Okay, and then once that's complete with all the moss wool and everything, this is that weed mat. Um, I am just making the shape of the enclosure in the same size as it is going to be the separation between the leka and the dirt, just so then there is a filtration system of where the water gets like when the dirt gets wet, the water will sink down and it won't just stay constantly mushy. Um, and this will just help with one, um, the cleanup crew not being able to get down there and just the watering process being easier. So I'm putting the leka down and then the weed mat. I did have to cut it a few times as I realized with the moss being back there, it's no longer the same size as the enclosure itself. Um, so I did shorten that down and moved it along throughout the pieces of wood that are down there. And then once again, the dirt mixture is sphagnum moss just to keep the humidity up a little bit in there as sphagnum moss holds, into, holds water quite easily. And then um, non-fertilized dirt. So if you see it, this money tree does have those little like white specks in there. Um, that's just perlite, so that should be fine. Um, 
but this dough from the no sui they do fertilize constantly so i just negated that and then i also um there is some sand mixed in there i totally forgot about that and then um it's not polite but it's another kind of version of polite that's also in there so the money trees so this one as if any of you guys know money trees they do grow quite a bit so there is going to be a lot of maintenance just keeping this tree the same size um but i don't mind at all and then this is some real moss that i picked up while hiking over the summer that i still have um so i threw that in there as well and then that skindapsis exotica is thrown back there in that little pot that i created Overall, I am really enjoying the build of it. I am, um, I do think if I were to redo it, I would just change the money tree to a different plant. Um, the rest I'm in love with. so that was the build i hope you guys enjoyed um it was kind of just a long run on one as i did move from location to location um but scout seems to be enjoying it i have this is now about two weeks later after the fact and i will say having the money tree in there it is a lot of maintenance of having to trim it up as it is growing and i wanted to stay that size and um i did have to add a few more pieces of wood in there just for scout to find more of a hiding spot as she wasn't grasping the hiding spots that i made for her um and then i did add um isopods and then i also added little mealworms um as that's kind of what i had on hand for the bioactive thing but as far as, as far as bugs go um i will attach links below on like what is a good soil base what's this and what's this um and then yeah she is doing super well she has yet to really figure out the whole where the food dish is if you've seen that i put it in there um it is like in the back right corner i've had to kind of move it around just for her to figure out where it is um but other than that she is loving it so i hope you guys enjoyed um i'm hoping to do more builds like this because this was super fun for me but yeah thanks for watching guys <laughs>